Well, Steve, uh, today we'll talk about uh, Parvottanasan, the eastern post, and Vishwamitrasan, the side flank um, of the reservation. The one thing about yoga poses that I really like to emphasize is each and every part of the body, from finger toes, from toes to fingertips, everything should be active and engaged. So let's start with uh, Purvottanasan. This is Dandasan, the staff pose. You see my legs are not there. Keep the toes pointed up and your legs will be engaged, active. One key thing I would like to emphasize in Purvottanasan is the shoulders, um, in positioning of the shoulder. Okay, let's start this. So bend the knees, feet on the floor, left, middle body up, focus on the navel. This is the key thing. Lifting navel up, it, this is very important. You cannot sink, otherwise you will defeat the purpose of the pose. Lift navel up as high as you can. You can only lift it so high. And you will start feeling a stretch in your arms. Your arms will start rolling in, forearms will start rolling in, but you push your shoulders back. So you see this is shoulders sunk. My navel is lifted, but my shoulders a roll forward, chest is sunk. Roll forward, shoulders outward, push them out, lift chest up. Now, in the beginning, you may start getting cramped if you rush into this pose. So please, very gently crawl two inches out with your feet, under two inches. So again, take your time and very slowly walk out the point where you feel comfortable. Ultimately, you will be able to straighten the legs without sinking the navel or without rolling the shoulders in. This is Purvottanasan, the eastern pose. The reason it's called eastern is the front of the body is the eastern side, back is the western side, and the eastern side is exposed. And there's the western pose, of course, where only the back is visible, so it's Paschimottanasan. Vishwamitrasan, the side plank. Uh, similar to this, except that uh, that also has a little bit more of a balancing um, factor in it. So you start the pose this way, fingertips are pointing to the front. I like to keep my toe pointing sideways. And and this is um, important in terms of uh, balance. Lift your ankle so that your right toe is on the ground. So don't stay on the edges. Then you're putting some undesired weight on the knee joint. Lift the ankle up. And you can also do this by lifting the waist up. Just like we focus on the navel in Urvottanasan. In this, focus on the waist. Lift the waist up. Don't let it sink from here. That's one thing. Secondly, Flex the elbow a little bit. Don't keep it straight. If you keep it straight, you're on the risk of pushing it forward, putting too much strain on the joint. So flex the elbows just a little. And keep the fingertips, fingers stretched apart. Okay. Nose are comfortable. Roll the toe. And keep lifting waist up. Elbow slightly bent. Remember the three balancing tricks. Press your big toe into the ground. Look straight in the line of your nose. Focus. Don't analyze. Don't think. Breathe slow and deep. 